My name is Jack Green. I work for One Yagarwa Rangers. I was the first um, Aboriginal person to help to set up the Aboriginal Ranger in uh, Gulfs of Carpentaria. That's on Nicholson River and Robinson River. And my job is a cultural advisor to um, to anyone that comes in here because I know my knowledge of this country that was given down to me by my senior elders. The main thing we're doing here today to um, do a, um, early burning to um, protect this um, country a bit more so um, nothing will get damaged properly, um, trees and that don't get burnt down, heavy fires or um, look after all the animals that get burnt, you know, so that's why we have early burning to protect a lot of that mother nature of this country because if you have a late fires, it's going to destroy this land. If, if a lightning strike starts in the late season, all them grasses are all that dry and that, well, it'll just go like a tornado. Straight through the land trust, straight through the pastoral property. It won't stop until you've got to get out there with the machines, ta uh, water tank and grader to create a fire break. That's the reason why we do that early burning to create an early fire break for the late season. to make sure you have the right people out there for the country. We call it Mingiringi, that's a traditional owner. We call it Jungai, that's like a policeman. The Jungai, he, he's the next bloke behind the traditional owner. He acts as an Aboriginal policeman. Now the Jungai, he can have the authorization to override the traditional owner. And we got to teach that to our kids too, you know, so when they grow up, they have the same knowledge to carry it. Well, these days um, we've got helicopters and uh, rain dance machines and stuff. Back in the olden days, it used to be just done by um, um, lighting up with to um, stick rubbing it together. Rain dance machine is a um, machine that get mounted in the chopper and you've got small incendiaries that, that go through the rain dance machine and that pumps the um, fire capsules down, in, down into the ground. Around the surrounding land trusts, on four, four boundaries, we've got these pastoralists. And if we burn and a fire goes through the pastoralists and burns their country out, well, they loosen their investment because they need that grass for their cattle and that. So what we do, we work in with the pastoralists. If the pastoralists grade their boundary like a fire break and we put our fire break up well what we're doing to the pastoral is is we're saving their investment we can get more funding to sort of help you know do tracks in those certain areas that we can get on 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 motorbikes or or, or cars and do the boundaries because um Chopper's costing too much money, you know, charges per hour. 
when we first start off, that was the pastor's um, um, word to us in ours that, you know, you're going to cause a lot of fire and you're going to burn all our country. But then when they realised how we're burning, now today they sort of start coming on the board. Fire management in the in our country, I reckon it's one of the best things. It, you're creating opportunity for young people to to employment, and um, not only employment, you're sort of teaching them how it's been done. And uh, it's one of those things I reckon um, that our people need to consider that it is important to look after country. Pull it up, roll it up, and pull it up. I remember um, these country here where my mother and grandfather used to walk on this country. And then when I got this ranger job, I'm sort of following their footstep in that country. Sort of know every little place where they're hunting ground and all that. Fire is in our culture, song line, you know? And so is the tree, so is the um, animals, you know, that we all song on the song line. And for people, for government or anybody that think they know more about this country, more know about fires, they don't know enough. You know, as an Aboriginal rangers, we felt really proud that we're looking after our country. And when we had there, it, it sort of, um, our kids can see us too, you know, that are these mob looking after their, our country? So when we grow up, we're going to look after the same way what they're doing. So we're proud of what we're doing. <laughs>